is either we had it, we didn't know we had it, or we don't have it. And so I, my money was on the first that we probably have it, we just don't know it yet. It's a weed resistant to herbicides that's been detected in southern Idaho recently. It's aggressive and can lead to yield losses for crop farmers. Now in today's Inside Ag, we sit down with the scientist who first detected it and the concerns it brings for farms. I came to the University of Idaho um, July of 2020, and when I came, one of the first things uh, I was surprised with was that we were pretty much surrounded by this weed, but we don't have it documented in the state yet. Palmer amaranth is something Albert, a University of Idaho Extension weed specialist, is familiar with after the weed began popping up in other states. In 2021, he says he started educating people about how to identify the weed species. And come 2022, they got their first call from a man in Homedale. Went out there, looked at it, and it's indeed um, this weed species. And so as at that point, we know that we had it, and probably that's just the beginning of the story. By 2023, they expanded their survey involving industry leaders like Amalgamated Sugar, and that's when the calls came in with 63 locations totaling 3,000 acres that were affected. It kind of confirmed my suspicion that it's here. People just didn't know that they had it. By 2024, it nearly doubled. There were 113 locations totaling nearly 7,000 acres. It covers roadsides, um, corn, alfalfa, sugar beet, um, dry bean, potatoes. So like almost every crop that I grow in Idaho, we found this weed in there. Albert says it grows fast. Take corn, sugar beets, and wheat, for example. Corn ranges in height, but take the average of the crop growing to about six feet. Wheat, four feet, and sugar beets, about two feet. This weed can grow up to three inches a day, meaning in eight days, it's as tall as sugar beets. 16 days, it's taller than wheat. In 24 days, it'll grow taller than corn. Albert says it emerges through the summer, forcing growers to apply herbicides multiple times. But he says they're learning that the weed grows resistant to nearly all of the herbicides that growers use, making it more expensive for farmers and difficult to manage. The population that were introduced into Idaho, uh, they are resistant to glyphosate, which a lot of growers use, and in some cases, we could not control them with 16 times what the growers would be able to apply. And so like four gallons of Roundup and was not enough to control those. It can produce half a million seeds per plant with its tiny seeds, so it can spread fast. Albert says he went to a farm in Glens Ferry where a farmer had to till his entire 300 acre field, losing out on all of those crops. His recommendation, if farmers see this weed in their fields, plant small grains like winter wheat and barley in the fall so the roots are already established. My hope is that everyone is paying attention and they know what to do when they find it or who to call. And ultimately, hopefully that helps um, to make sure that it doesn't get um, worse. And they continue to study the plant, helping farmers figure out what works to kill a weed and what doesn't work. They're also trying to map out where the hotspots are and should be releasing a guide soon.